Hey, you. I forgot that problem where you have a specific material, but there are no PBR materials for it. Well, today is your lucky day, because in this video I show you how to make those realistic materials. So, we have all been there. You slip a texture onto your model, hit render, and, well, no normal, no roughness, no reflection, just cube. Creating all those extra maps manually, <laughs> it's a waste of time. And don't get me started on buying those material packs just for that one decent texture with a huge price tag. You and I just want that one material. So what if I told you that there is a free way to do just all that with just a little help of ChatGPT. It can generate all the maps that you need, but you need to know how. So let's dive in. Step one is to grab a flat texture. In my case, it's mostly the texture from the architect that has a specific look. In this case, it's a brick texture. So it's a perfect example for this video. We go to our web browser, type in ChatGPT, open the website, create an account if you don't have one or log in, and then open a new chat. Then we can upload our flat texture with a good prompt. To cut to the cases, there are three things you need to address when you ask ChatGPT to generate your maps. One is to ask for the specific bitmaps. In this case, it's going to be a normal, roughness, reflectivity, and displacement. Two is always at the resolution that you want. Keep in mind that generating images on the free program has limits. So asking for a higher resolution would take more data. So it could be that ChatGPT says something like this. And three, as last, always ask for the download link for every bitmap. Otherwise, you just get the images that you can download. Trust me, I have been there. So this is the prompt that I will be using. And here's the best part. It takes seconds. No more spending hours in Photoshop painting bitmaps. It could happen that you need to make some adjustments to your liking if needed. Now, I know what you're thinking. This sounds too good to be true. What's the catch? Well, there is one thing, but it's not really a catch. You will need to double check sometimes the maps. Sometimes ChatGPT normal maps might look a little bit weird. Ugh. When ChatGPT is done, download all the maps and adjust them when needed in Photoshop. Let's load them into Lumion and add them to our cube. Let's also make another one to see the difference between the flat texture and the one with the generated textures. There you have it. ChatGPT isn't just a text wizard, it's also your new PBR map assistant. Faster textures mean more time for fun stuff like lighting, animation, or staring at your render because you can't believe how good it looks. If you found this helpful or entertaining hit that like button su consider subscribing and let me know in the comments what texture you are going to try first on this method also i have a discord server where you, we can join my community where we can discuss artist topics and also showcase your work until next time keep rendering and stay creative bye